Hello, hello, hello. What's the weather like where you are at the moment? Where are you and what's the temperature? Because here it is um, pretty cool. We are in July in Australia, which tends to be a little bit cooler anyway. Okay, we're going to look at uh, the, well, I've, I've got a new course I created. It's called Five Day Challenge to Improve Your Mental Health. Well, actually, I didn't create it. It comes from Articulate Rise. And what I want to do is show you how to export Articulate Rise courses as a SCORM package, how to import that into Moodle. And I want to show you two different ways of importing the SCORM package into Moodle that you can use it, just variations on how it can be applied to. So let's jump to Articulate Rise. If you don't know what Articulate Rise is, it is a platform that is absolutely fantastic. It lets you create courses that are pretty much self-contained. They are much more interactive in terms of things moving around. So you can see there, here's the start the course and it has its own navigation on the left. You can scroll through check boxes, things like that that you can use. You can continue on. So you can see it's, it's quite a nicely laid out platform from, you know, setting up courses. There's lots of information in here. Grounded, taste, touch, smell, sight, hearing. All of this, the audio, all sorts of things. That is our course. We're going to go back to the edit view in Articulate. We're going to go to publish and choose LMS. So the options for publishing as LMS are these ones here, CMI 5X, API, AICC, SCORM 2004, SCORM 1.2. Now Moodle uh, quite happily accepts SCORM 1.2. So we're gonna stay with SCORM 1.2. Now you have the option of tracking users course completion, which is what we want. You can track using a quiz result if there is a quiz there, which this says there is no quiz. Uh, track using storyline block. Now storyline is like an interactive component that can be added to Articulate Rise. So you can create your own interactive objects using separate software. It only works on Windows, but that's cool. And you can add those into the into the content and use this one of the storyline activities as the way that you track the completion for this block. The reporting is passed or incomplete or complete incomplete, whichever you want to refer to it as. Depends on your terminology. And then exit course link, add a link that lets learners easily return to an LMS. So we're going to leave that because we don't need that as part of this. And the cover page, we can hide or show the cover page. I'll leave it on for the moment because it doesn't actually matter until you see what that means, where it sits. So let's go to publish. And it will publish that course. It will email me with the completed SCORM package uh, as a link that I can then download. Or in this case, it's automatically downloading it as an 18 meg file for me to add to, add to my course. Now SCORM package is just a zip file, really with a whole heap of files in it that do all sorts of stuff. So let's jump in and try that in Moodle. Jumping back to Moodle, I'm going to turn editing on. And to add a SCORM package or to add this course inside our course, all we need to do is add a new activity or resource. And the activity type that we're looking for is called a SCORM package. So we're going to go SCORM package. We're just going to call this the course content just for the sake of a name. Now it's asking for a package file, which will be an XML or zip file. So I'm going to grab this zip file and drop that in here. And we're going to go to save and return to course. So you can see what this looks like when it imports the SCORM package. So what happens in the background is it grabs that zip file, it unpackages the zip file and puts all of the, the navigation in and all the content in and gets it ready for you to view or for a student to view. So you can see here we've got our SCORM package. We click on course content, a little bit annoying how it does it. You'll see that it goes to a module called SCORM package that then says, do you want to enter? So we can click on enter. It does have the number of attempts allowed, all those types of settings, but you can see here that the SCORM package, five day challenge, content is loading and you can see there's the content. If I start course, you can see it's got all the course content in there. It looks just the same as what we did before, but it's sitting inside a page and the navigation is there as well. You notice it's now got two lots of navigation, which is a bit of a messy thing for students, I believe. So we're going to try and simplify this a little bit and make it a little bit easier for students because at the moment they've got a navigation there, they've got a navigation there, and then they've got down the bottom more navigation that's supposed to let them go to the next and back page. But in this case, I don't think it actually does anything. We've imported that in there, but it's looking a little bit messy. Let's go into our SCORM settings because this is where we can make it a little bit more presentable for students. 
in our settings where it says appearance, we can go down here and we can say in a new window. And if we go to show more, it's got a width and a height. So we can get rid of the menu bar, display preview mode, no, display course structure in player, show navigation under content. We can say no, because we don't want that navigation at the bottom and display attempts. Okay, so that's a little better. But let's go down to save and return to course, only because I want to show you the steps that the student goes through again. All right, we go to course content. When we click enter this time, it opens up a full screen window. It still has that height on it, but they can close that out the way. I think there's a way of getting rid of that nav on the left too. But now they've got the full width, which is a much more presentable way for the students to be able to go through the content and read everything. So they can continue through and look at their course as a SCORM package. Now that's one way of adding the SCORM package. Another way of doing it is to jump back to our course homepage, go to settings. Now if we don't need all of the other features, we just need access to that course. We can go into course format. Instead of topics, choose single activity format. Under type of activity, we choose SCORM package. And we save and display. And this takes us straight to the SCORM package as a course. So when they go into the course, all they get is this number of attempts, and then they can open up the content from there. And that again, just makes it a little bit simpler, a little bit cleaner. We do need to get rid of that left navigation. So I will just try and see if I can work out how to get rid of that as well. It's not very practical, presentable. Let's just go back into settings, back into appearance. We can change that to current window now because we're limiting it to the one layout. Okay, that's the content structure page. So we'll, we'll just say always to browse an activity before attempting it. No, that's okay. Let's play course structure in the player. We'll just say that's hidden. So that should be that course structure on the left. So let's go back to save and display. So now when they go into the course, they still have the enter button, but it opens up inside the content, the left navigation squished out the way, which is good. And then they can control the navigation where they're up to. Notice it went back to where I was up to before too, by the way, which is a nice cool little feature of the SCORM package. Now, I don't like having an iframe inside an iframe, uh, inside a page for me, but that's just my preference. So I would actually go back into the settings and get that to open up in a new page and change it to 100%. But that's me personally. So I'd go into a new window and I would say height 100%. So it goes to full size save and display. It opens up as a full size screen ready for them to view their content. And that's how we add a SCORM package from Articulate Rise, which was our platform, our content development platform, into the Moodle LMS. Any questions on that? Uh, let me know. Keen to hear from you. Otherwise, uh, have an awesome day.